guys just look at that chop this is what you call the most perfect chop ever just look at the charring on that look at the colors on that amazing let's give it a little flippity flip these are incredible incredible lamb chops so manchester this one's for you <laughs> oh my god Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new food review. Today's a special one because we're here in Manchester. We're at a place called Jelani's on the very famous Wimslow Road. No, this is the Curry Mile. So I've heard so much about their lamb chops. Um, they do amazing desserts. And we're going to check out for ourselves. I have been here maybe four years ago. I cannot wait to try it. So come on, let's go inside and see what the hype is about. We're in the restaurant now at the very famous Jelani's. Very excited, I spoke to the brother. He's very welcoming. He gave me kind of a breakdown of what their best sellers are, things he'd want me to try. And I always say to owners, give me something that you think would best represent your establishment and your restaurant. Lamb chops, get that burger that has that oozing cheese in the middle. I think a few starters and things like that. They have a great selection of desserts here. So I'm gonna give a quick scan of the menu, or probably not, and let the brother order for me. I've done a review before at Miami's Crispy Fried Chicken. That was good. So I think I want a more kind of dining in experience. It's quite a big establishment. As you walk in, you have the famous Jelani sign over there. A little bit busy, not too busy, which is good for me from a recording perspective. But again, hungry. I'm always hungry, innit? It's a food channel. I'm always gonna hungry. It, it wouldn't work out. This channel would not work out if I wasn't hungry. Oh, I've just, I've just seen they do like a trio of desserts. That should be interesting. So we're gonna get a good square meal and let's see how Jelani's is. So just quick menu breakdown of Jelani's. So one thing straight away is they've got these little purple pinkish highlighted parts. I think it's always quite nice because you can reference them straight away and see they're clearly the best sellers. So starting off with your starters, you've got your traditional South Asian kind of chana chaat, samosa chaat, gol gappe. And then again, this is what I've gone for actually. One of these, where's it gone? The Jelani burger with cheese. I think it might just be that one there. Because what happens is they have the lamb patty, but in between the lamb patty they have cheese and it just looks beautiful, nice. Every time you take a bite it oozes out with cheese. Ooh, look at that man, Jelani's grilled prawns. Mixed platter, I might just get the mixed platter, but I'm 1 million percent going to get the lamb chops. Most definitely going to get the lamb chops. Two uh, desserts over there. Uh, tree of desserts. Oh, this one's an interesting one. I'm going to try this one. Oh, you got a lot going on actually. Sweet pancakes, you've got uh, school puddings, Arabic and Indian sweets. What's this on the back? Ah, this is just drinks. That is a very quick menu breakdown of Jelani's. I cannot wait to try the food. Guys, just look at the spread of food from Jelani's. Unbelievable. So we've got a mixed chicken plat over there. You've got these famous, oh my lord. Oh my lord, famous lamb chops. And then again, I believe this is equally as famous. They have this signature burger which has cheese in the middle. Uh, yeah, it's already oozing out. It's ready for me to take a bite. And I cannot wait. Oh yeah, oh yeah. First of all, we're recording YouTube and I cannot wait to try it. Oh my god. This is a lot of food, but I'm ready. Jelani's, you're gonna smash it. I know. I have high expectations, so let's do it. So guys, you might have just seen the Instagram clip, but wow, look at these chops, man. Yeah. Unbelievably yeah. appeasing. Look at it, look at it. Oh my God, you get four chunky chops. You get your thick cut chips, a bit of naan action, and a few sauces. And then, oh my lord, look at, look at the cheese is already oozing out on this one. That is your lamb beef burger. Oh, lamb, whoa, 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 slow it down, Shah Rukh. <laughs> lamb burger, not lamb and beef. And then you've got, oh my god, look at that chicken platter, beautiful. A bit of naan action again, and a bit of sauce action. My, 
You know what? Let's put down the camera and tuck into these chops. Let's go. This is Jelani's review. Ah, here we go. You got a chop just here. And we are gonna go in for it's still piping on. I've been taking pictures for 10 minutes, I've been taking videos and pictures for 10 minutes. Okay, this Miller, here we go. Jelani's, this one's for you. Man, no, Manchester, this one's for you. <laughs> oh my god, quick zoom up, quick zoom up because. Ah, oh, we ain't messing about here. Straight through. It went straight through. No tough business going on here. No pulling of action going on here. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Whoa. This makes my top three best ever lamb chops list. Ridiculous. So soft. Guys, have you ever heard someone describe lamb? as it it melts like butter in your mouth I'm cleaning the bone I don't care it's so brilliant so the seasoning very subtle not incredibly spicy nowhere near bland this is the perfect representation of how lamb chops should be because sometimes you overwhelm it the actual lamb chop and you cover it with so many spices you can't taste the meat as in the real flavor of the meat perfect example of how you should how you should season and more importantly cook lamb chops brilliant lamb chops so next what we're going for is the Jelani's burger with cheese it's a lamb patty with a cheese infused center so that's really really exciting here we go so this is the Jelani's let's get a quick close-up again so that is it's probably the most perfect looking patty as in shape wise ever look it's just very symmetrical oh look at that steam coming off can you see that steam guys Woo! it's piping off and then look this cheese just there it's already it's already popping out look that cheese is already popping out so we're gonna give this a quick taste test so guys here we go this is the Jelani's burger with cheese Mmm, mmm, so soft, a little bit overwhelmingly meaty. It's quite salty if I'm being honest, it's quite salty. But look at this cheese centre, yeah? That cheese is uh, one of the biggest, look it's still going. Cheese pull! <laughs> Incredible. We're gonna we're gonna go in for another bite now. Here we go. So a burger good. I really like the burger. Really tasty. Seasoned well. Only criticism for me is it's very salty for my liking. I do like salty food, but even that is quite it's quite salty for me. Chips, mint sauce. Mmm. Ooh. That's an authentic mint sauce. In front of me, I can see the mixed chicken platter. So you get a chicken, you get one chicken kebab, two chicken tikka pieces, two barbecue chicken wings, and two chicken thighs. Naan breads. I'm gonna break up the shish kebab. Take up the chicken shish kebab. Dip it into, let's say, the mint sauce first. Uh, I need some bit of salad action, yeah. Here we go. Some onions. Love almost these sautéed onions. Here we go. It's decent. What a decent chicken kebab. Good amount of flavour, good amount of spices in that. Cooked really well. Because sometimes what you can get with with chicken kebabs or lamb kebabs or beef kebabs, whatever the kind of minced meat kind of mixture is it can get quite rubbery, but no, that's good. That's really good. Chicken tikka. Let's rip that off with a bit of naan just there. Wrap it up lovely like a little duvet. Dip it into, I've got the chili sauce. So there it is. Hmm, yeah. Good, great again. The chicken is cooked really well. 
So the chicken again is cooked really well. Remember guys, those black bits, they're not burnt, it's that char, it's that flavour you get. Again, not overwhelmingly spicy, like they haven't put loads and loads of spices on there. It's good, it's subtle. You don't want it to be overwhelming, because again, let me reference back again to the lamb chops, you want to taste the meat. Let's move on to the wing. So this is a barbecue wing. It's quite a sticky uh, barbecue sauce. So you, you actually don't get two wings, you get a nibbler and you also get a wing. A lot of places do that actually, don't you think? Do you think it's right that they do that? I don't know. As long as it's tasty, I'm good with that. Here we go. The first thing you're welcomed by is that sweetness. It pops through lovely. So again, those burnt bits, they're not burnt. They give that crunch, they give, there's a lot of flavor on there too. The chicken is soft, it's cooked very well. The sweetness from the barbecue sauce complements it very nicely. It comes off the bone fairly well, I'd say, fairly well. The chicken thigh, and we're just gonna have it as it is. Yeah, mmm. Mmm, a ton of flavor. A bit heavy in the salt, very fatty because it is chicken thigh, but oh, this one's good. And also, by the way, this chicken platter, this mixed chicken platter, they've only released it about seven days ago, he was saying. So, um, yeah, it's going to be in the menu for a long time because I can see why a lot of people would like this. So, guys, we're finishing off with something sweet, as you know, what my saying is. Food goes to the belly, but dessert goes to the heart, and we, let's start with the kheer actually. So this is a rice pudding dish, very, very popular in South Asia, and this is homemade, so it's not bought in. And then it's just topped with a few pistachios and nuts just there. So they have something called a trio of desserts. There's about three, four varieties you can get. So this one's called the Ferrero Lux. So you get a Ferrero Rocher eaten mess, you get a Ferro Rocher cake, and then you get a Ferro Rocher, let me see, let's do a little spin. Then you get your ice cream just there, Ferro Rocher. So it's a Ferro Rocher's uh, dream, and I love Ferro Rocher, so I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this one, and I got the key. So let's try the dessert. So guys, one more time for the people that didn't hear it in the back. Food goes to the belly, and dessert goes to the heart. So we always have to finish off with something sweet. I am gonna go for the Ferrero Rocher eaten mess. It's uh, in this little cute little jar. Let's go straight into it. Ooh, thick, very thick. Here we go. Ooh, thick, creamy. Quite heavy, actually. Mmm, you familiarize yourself with that Ferrero Rocher flavor. Loads of nuts. Um, if you got a nut allergy, maybe this is not for you. Getting a tree of dessert was a bad choice, but then the little bad boy in me was like, get six, get nine. All right, calm down. I think for me, it's the review. I just want to give you a whole variety, show you a wide variety of what they do here. We're off to a great start. So what we'll move on to next is a Ferro Rocher uh, cake. So I've got a little piece over here. Oh, it cuts very well, by the way. It cuts very well. Here we go. Mmm, tasty. Mmm, you've got a very silky and chocolatey top. You've got the layers in between the cream. It's quite a thick cream. It's soft, it's delicious. The kids will love it, the adults would love it. Everyone would love that. Next, we've got the ice cream just here. Let's get a little close up on that. There you are, there's the Ferrocha ice cream. Let's give that a taste test. Mm. What can I say? Three out of three. All of them incredibly tasty. So let's move on to the kheer, the rice pudding. We're gonna get a nice, um, nice scoop of that. Let's get a close up on that. So there's your kheer, very traditional. This one is served cold. It can be served hot or cold. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely my favorite out of everything I've tried so far. Mom, dad will love that. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Big statement. One of the best Kheer's rice puddings I have ever tasted in my life. So creamy, so delicious, so milky, thick. You get those consistencies, those bumpy consistencies with that rice. What an excellent way to finish off the meal. So guys, just finished off a delicious meal here at Jelani's on Wimslow Road, Manchester. So for food, I am going to score Jelani's a very solid 4.2 out of 5. Really, really good score. I really enjoyed the food. Everything was consistent. Everything was good. A um, few things I've mentioned to the owner they could tweak on or maybe it was just today it happens but honestly you know these guys they sell 1000 portions of lamb chops each week each day they stand at about 100 200 they were saying but on the weekend it doubles triples quadruples which is crazy for service the brother's been really really welcoming I really appreciate it I think this has been probably the most smoothest ordering process, the smoothest sitting down, eating, food comes out very quick, came out in about 5-10 minutes. I think it's fairly decently priced, like the one that sticks out to me is the trio of desserts, I only have fiver. You get three desserts for a fiver which is wicked. Cleanliness, I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now if they've been rated by the hygiene standards. Interior design to be honest, I'll do a quick one because there might be people around so you've got like gold over here. Then you've got more seating down there. Uh, just over there you've got the big Jelani sign. Uh, and it looks quite prestige and very exclusive on the outside too. So that looks very interesting. You could do with new tables, maybe new... No, it's, it's alright. It's alright. It's decent. So yeah, this one gets a recommend for me. These are probably one of the best portions of lamb chops I have ever had in my life. It's very very tasty falls off the bone and it's fantastic so guys I'm gonna wrap up there and be sure to like comment and subscribe you know it'd be amazing if you just give it a like you know it just tells YouTube that you know now what does it what does it do YouTube sends their algorithm kind of secret message out to the algorithmic kind of solar solar system database kind of but like in the video what YouTube does it tells people um, and it recommends my videos for them so it mean the world if you could do that I put a lot of effort into these videos so I really appreciate it. even if it's just one like that'd be fantastic and follow the Instagram page at Lamoin Cheese Reviews for all the behind the scenes and I'll catch you guys in the next food review